I'm Father Bob Stokig, Rector of the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you with another one of our weekly reflections drawn from the Sunday readings. This for the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time, which in 2023 falls on January the 29th. Beginning this week, for the period of four weeks, we're going to spend time in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew's Gospel. The way Matthew's Gospel is structured, there are five main um, discourses, uh, and that sort of models Matthew's image of Jesus being the new Mos Moses, the fulfillment of Moses. So this first discourse, which we know as the Sermon on the Mount, starts on a mountaintop, evoking the imagery of Moses having been on Mount Sinai receiving the law. And Jesus coming as the fulfillment of the law gives us a new perspective, a new direction with the Beatitudes. Beatitudes are familiar to us and yet maybe sometimes puzzling. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God, they begin. They give a series of blessings to those whom the society at Jesus' time, as well as our time too, would see as not blessed. And they are a reminder about how we are to see the kingdom of heaven, which Jesus last Sunday told us, as he called his first disciples, has drawn near. In the kingdom of heaven, the pecking order is different than in the society around us. So this would be a great week to do one of two things. One is you could read the entire Sermon on the Mount, which begins in Matthew chapter 5. Or if you don't have time to read the entire Sermon on the Mount, which wouldn't take too long, at least read the Beatitudes. Think about who it is you see as blessed in light of Jesus' vision of the kingdom of heaven. And think about where perhaps the society around you still draws you in further to embrace its values instead of those of the kingdom of heaven. Wherever you are, as you watch this video, we hope you and your family are well. We want you to know that here at the Guardian Angel Cathedral, we keep you and them in our prayers, and we invite you to pray for our community as well, till the day comes when you might join us sometime here at the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas for worship.